Hello everybody. With the exclusive update for our subscription and ASA customers, we have enhanced Adobe Captivate with lot more exciting features. One of them is interactions, that is more interactions now. In the interactions, one of the interaction is called Zixa Puzzle. Wow, we can even play as well while we learn. Let me show you how to use Zixa Puzzle in our courses. Select the Zixa Puzzle interaction and click insert. And the interaction configuration dialog opens up with more options. I need to browse for a picture. What's the picture size? It's basically your puzzle size. And the puzzle size can be either 300 pixel by 300 pixel or 400 by 400 pixels. I already have a 400 by 400 pixel picture done. So let me select 400 by 400. Click on browse and import the image, which is the cow image. Now I need to select how many number of pieces I need for my zigzag puzzle. In this case, let me select four for now and the timer as well, which is, uh, let's say 259, that means close to three minutes, I'm giving it to the learner. I can have a variable name as well, so that the score gets attached to the variable and I can use it in any other part of the course. Click OK. Now the stage is occupied by the Zixa puzzle. Let's quickly take a preview of how the puzzle looks. Wow, if you observe, there are four pieces of the same picture and the timer is also available, which is 259. Okay, let me just reset the image and start with the puzzle. Nice. I'm done with the image, the puzzle, and it moves on to the next slide. In the puzzle configuration, there are a couple of other parameters as well. That is, click to add a title. So I can select the text and I would say, can you try this? By the way, I can have as many pictures as possible. For example, I can even select this image and uh, it would appear as a second image in my puzzle. I can either select the first image or the second image. And when I select that, a tick mark appears indicating that this image is selected for the puzzle. It's always a good idea that we do the exact dimension for the puzzle so that it doesn't get distorted. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'm sure you're going to use this in your courses. Thank you.